Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and this is the Pixel 3 XL. So I've been hearing a lot of people saying that it scratches very easily. Just putting keys in your pocket, it scratches. Just putting it on the desk, it scratches. So let's talk about glass a little bit. So I've been talking about glass and scratches since the beginning of when I started reviewing, and Moe's scale of mineral hardness has always been a great thing of interest to me. So when looking at minerals, it's basically telling you that a mineral that is harder cannot be scratched by the softer mineral, and of course, the mineral that is harder will scratch the softer one, or minerals of equal hardness can scratch each other. So knowing this, and knowing that glass is at about a six on Mohs scale of mineral hardness, keys, which are much softer, should not be able to scratch the Pixel 3 XL. But what I foresee a lot of people doing is doing this, putting their phone in their pocket with their keys. Eh, that is, ooh, so that is ugly. But what you can already see right here is that what has scratched into this is not the same color as the actual phone's glass itself. So this glass has been etched and it's not glossy like this anymore. And so we've got very tiny micro scratches in this that kind of turn this into a glass nail file, if you will. So if you try to scratch on the glossy part, nothing's happening. But you can very well see that we've got these apparent scratches on the etched part. So it's just residue that's coming off the key and being left here on the back. And that residue sits in those tiny little pores and it's actually not so easy to get out. I'm gonna take this into the bathroom and I'm going to clean it. And you'll probably see some lines, very faint ones left over that still not scratches. It's just this very stubborn residue that is now stuck in the etched glass. So before we go and clean this, let's make some more pronounced scratches just for proof of concept. So, doing this. And doing this. Don't do this to your phone. And like that. I mean, this now looks pretty junked up, right? Let's clean her up. Rubbing it with water ain't gonna cut it. Looking pretty good. So there you go. Here it is all cleaned up and without a single scratch. And if you do see something that looks like a hairline scratch remaining, I would just have to assume that's still some residue that's stuck in these micro scratches. And you saw how I had to really get in there and be abrasive with a brush and a little bit of soap to get that residue off because it, it's not easy to get that residue off. Even I see right now little tiny places where there might be a little bit of residue left. So I'll do a second pass, but this is the result. So if you're worried that your keys are scratching your phone, don't be, they are softer than glass. Now this is not to say that this isn't going to scratch at all. If you have something like quartz, sand, which is the same hardness, or even something harder like a sapphire ring, for example, those will scratch this glass. So keep it away from beach sand or other various types of particles that are harder than glass, but otherwise things like keys are just going to rub off onto this. It's going to act like a nail file and you're going to see the residue on the back here. So don't worry too much. So I hope that this was helpful. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you are notified when the full review drops and have a good day, you guys.